In this video, I'm going to show you how to use categories in conjunction with your blog posts. Okay, so we're at the blog called Jim's Max GXL Team. I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and in sidebar one, there's a a widget called Categories, and it's listing the different categories that have been used already in this particular blog. Now the purpose of Categories, or one of the purposes of Categories, is to organize all of your blog posts. What do I mean by that? Well, if you create two blog posts per week for an entire year, you have a little over a hundred or one hundred blog posts that people have to sift through and sort through. Now, if someone's looking for a particular blog post on the different types of beaches that you've talked about or different types of blog posts about fishing, they would click on one of these categories. For instance, you click on sailing, it will bring you to a page in the blog that will list all the posts that have to do with sailing. Click on bicycles and a page will open up in your blog which will list all the blog posts related to bicycles. Okay, So what we're going to do right now is log into this particular blog. I've already done that so I'm just going to click on the tab and when you log in it brings you to the dashboard. Now I'm going to click on posts here and the post I'm going to work with is called test post number six. Now I want to click on some categories. We'll, it's Florida Beaches is the title of this particular post and so let's just say we're talking about it has to do with South Florida, it has to do with fishing and beaches and let's just say we want to add another category called surfing so all you need to do is type in the name of the category click new category and it will automatically be checked we click update go back to the blog and if we scroll down to the categories widget, we can see that surfing has been added as a category. And if we were to click on that link, it would list all of the blog posts that are related to surfing. In this case, there's only one post related to surfing. Let me just click here to demonstrate. And there it is. So I'm going to click back here to go back home. And I'm going to go back right now to the dashboard. and let's just say you want to get rid of some of these categories or you want another way to add categories. What you would do is go up here in the dashboard to posts tab. If there are no links under it, you would just click on the down arrow. Click on categories. To get rid of a particular category, let's say we want to get rid of Camp Grenada, all you do is click delete you get a pop-up menu, click OK, and that category is gone. If you want to add a category, say Daytona Beach, just type it in there. Don't worry about any of this other stuff. Just scroll down and click Add New Category, and in a flash, that new category has been added. Now say you want to add a category under beaches you want to add another subcategory. I'll show you how to do that. Type in, let's just say Boynton Beach, and we want that to be a subcategory of beaches so the parent category will be beaches. Scroll down, click add new category, and as you scroll up there'll be a line. Now watch, see there's a little line in front of the Boynton Beach and you know that that's a subcategory of the category beaches and that's pretty much all you need to know right now to use categories to organize your blog posts. 